<laughs> okay, guys. Nah, I don't like that intro. We need an intro. B is for boost. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are working on the PT Cruiser. Now, if you didn't really follow this build, links up in the right hand corner. This was bought for Jeff's car. He has a 2005 SX 2.0, I believe, or a second gen uh that uh he wants a two four swap so we need an o3 and up so i think this is an o3 and his is an o3 so today we are going to literally cut this motor out so we can take the scrap tomorrow so today it's just literally we are going to cut anything that's in the way we're going to rip it out we're going to cut the axles we're going to do what all we need to do just to get it out of the way so we can start on with the uh the uh build and this can go for scrap weight with the second pt cruiser if you're not following that build it was a 300 dollars 400 dollars car that we sold some parts off then we crushed it saved the motor as well so uh i'm going to put you guys on the turbo sierra so you can watch what we're doing and uh we're going to get on this and if you're not familiar with the turbo sierra let me show you here is the turbo sierra project that we've been working on guys uh check that out but uh, for now we'll leave it at that right way of doing things and then there's the way that I do things because let's face it we don't need any of this stuff so <sighs> okay that might not be as easy as I thought The whole bottom of the ride support was completely rotten. Look at it. That's crazy. And this is how we're going to strip this PT because we don't need anything. As you guys see super quick super easy lily just unbolted the front end ripped the bumper off and then uh the rod pretty well fell out because the bottom rod support was rotten anyways so i ended up the top of the rod hose there was no antifreeze in the top part of the rod the bottom part there is it's still filling up so let that drain and then basically we're just gonna cut the axles out of the way and then undo the mounts and pull it out so we don't have to be too concerned with things because none of it's being saved we're not saving the ac we're not saving the power steering pump. We're not saving the power steering lines, the transmission, the axles, all that's different. So we're just gonna cut it and go, guys. So once that's done filling up, we will continue along with the video. Okay, so we are back. As you've seen earlier, I took the front end off the PT Cruiser. Jeff is now here and he is going to cut the exhaust and the two axles out of the way. And then we basically are just dropping this down. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad. There's only like two bolts here with the drop transmission side. And then you have technically three mounts on the driver's side, like a neon, but it should come out pretty simple. And then it's just messing it to make sure it comes out. Once it's out, it's pretty well ready to go for scrap weight. Other than I think he wants the windshield. Maybe. Maybe that or the other one, whichever one. One of them's getting well, the windshield. Well, we're going to try on the first, on one first, and then if it don't work, try on the other one. Pretty well. So um, I'll show you when he starts cutting, guys, because right now he is just, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, and the power steering one. 
What did you say about the fluid? I'm just something coming out. Not too much. It's pissing out. What do you mean, not too much? You have to get it underneath. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's supposed to rain. Right there should be good. Yeah, but until it does. You guys will see that the timing belt is broken. Probably the best tool we've actually got for free is the uh, cordless reset. The little one. Now I have a big one that's a Dewalt one, but it would never fit in there. No, that's just it. And that's the benefit of this. It's such a you can fit it in such a tight spot. You hear that? It can go in tight spots. So Jeff is climbing underneath to cut the axles. I'm glad it's him and not me. It's always me. Well, you know why. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. I don't know. Because a light would be nice. Light me. I can't move. <laughs> so with him cutting the axles, what's gonna happen is we can literally just pull it out as one. Like always, we do things in the dark here for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, we couldn't get it with the reset, so we're gonna cut the axles. You probably won't see much of us pulling the motor because it's gonna be dark. So we'll have to bring the up to date tomorrow when we haul it for strap weight. So, uh, or when we get at least the motor inside. So, uh, let's see what happens. We're probably better off taking that center center bolt and the bottom bolt out now. Which one? The, the two on the side. That way we can cut the wheel and not have to worry about it. That way the top and the transmission won't be the last two. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you see it's ready to be pulled out. I'll show you real quickly. It sucks because it is dark out, guys. I do apologize. It I gets, to do stuff in the, wow. It's because of how late you get off of work and then we yeah, don't well, do it's stuff. It's also winter time, well, pretty near winter time in Canada. Yeah, so. It's literally cut, ready to go. You're gonna hit that bottom piece. We might have to cut that right off. If we're gonna slide it sideways. I think that's what I had to do with the last one I did on the trailer. Cause you gotta think last time it was jacked up. Don't matter, if you do it that way, the AC is gonna hit. You know what I mean? So. Anyways guys. We'll leave it at that. We're gonna get that out. I'll show you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Okay, so as you see, it's dark out. We've been what, hour and a half, hour and 20 okay. minutes? Yeah. Motor training's out, as you see here. Jeff will shine the light. So there is his two four swap. We're gonna transmission off tomorrow. That's gonna go in the PT. And then uh, we're gonna set this in the garage. And then uh, he's good to put it in. So. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bit of clean up with it. How about we come in here? <laughs> So we're gonna leave it at that. He said he's gonna clean it up some. Obviously we've got a power coating system here. Yeah. So if he wants to power coat stuff, we can. But uh, that's that video. If you're unfamiliar with the swap and you've actually watched it this far, check out his other video links up in the description, guys. Uh, like always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And who can forget about the Civic truck? It's almost time to start working back on that guy. I think so. we've been forgetting about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have been forgetting about the Civic truck. The interior has to go in here probably next week because winter is coming and the interior is all up with that trailer. So it means I have to physically start working on this. The seats need to go in, the interior needs to go in, 
And that way I can start doing the body work and finishing this up, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.